A Grand Rapids Police Department canine is expected to recover after being stabbed early this morning at a standoff on the city's northwest side. The dog was rushed to an animal hospital where it received a blood transfusion. News 8's Kyle Mitchell is in the newsroom with the latest on the dog's condition. Kyle? Brian and Sue, it's too soon to know if canine Eli will be able to return to work, but the police chief says the department and dog's handler are grateful he's recovering. Tense moments as a standoff lingered for eight hours at a home on Leonard Street Northwest near Walker Avenue in the city of Grand Rapids. He really showed no regard for safety. He was out standing on his roof waving the handgun around. Chief Eric Winstrom says a 24-year-old assault suspect fired multiple shots before returning inside. We had obtained uh, warrants to go into the house. We had thrown a phone into the house. We were uh, messaging with loudspeakers to, to please come out and talk to us. Uh, no response. Uh, if anything, he would come to the window and, and taunt the police or taunt his neighbors. At 3 this morning, officers decided to send in K-9 Eli. The chief was able to watch a video feed of what happened. As soon as the handler realized that this individual was stabbing him, called the dog back, the dog still ran back, and even the handler told me, he said the dog still wanted to be in that fight. Uh, bleeding profusely, the handler uh, uh, picked the dog up, carried him to a vehicle, and they took him to the 24-hour emergency hospital on Plainfield. Eli was stabbed eight times, including major wounds to his lung and shoulder. It's a tough dog, and seems like he's going to pull through. Chief Winstrom visited the canine at the animal hospital early in the morning while he was still in critical condition. It looked like what you would expect, blood everywhere, eight stab wounds. Uh, it looked like a very dire situation at the time. The chief says the dog's handler has been at his side and the department is rallying together to show support. I'm sure it's very emotional for any canine officer to have to go through this. The chief says the suspect didn't have any major injuries. Brian.